Hello students, in this video we are going to see about 12th standard HSC Maharashtra board examination question bank which is given by Maharashtra government. So uh, in this question bank we have a section like question 1, B complete the following chain. So incorrect factors, correct, uh, right factors then are related to right and wrong. The videos I have already uploaded. Uh, you can join the telegram group on which you will get all the important notes, all the important question banks, videos regarding geography uh, so that you can easily uh, get good marks in geography in your board examination. So the, this, uh, the link of my telegram group I have shared in the description box. You can go and visit it. Uh, let us move further with the first question. So here we have three sections like three columns A, B and C. We need to match each and every column. So whenever you do such kind of questions, you should always keep uh, keep one thing in mind. कि अभी यहाँ पे देखो options में Australia, Amazon basin, East America, India, Antarctica ठीक है. अभी इन में से आपको sure पांचों में से अगर आपको कोई भी एक sure shot पता है, तो वो आप सबसे पहले solve करो. ठीक है. Then you start with the second, then you start with the third. So ultimately last may jo bach jayega. So that will ultimately give you the correct answers. So in such type of questions, I suggest you that always start with the easiest option. Jiske baare mein aapko ekdam sure shot pata hai. Abhi jaise isme India hai, thik hai. Abhi India mein kya hai? Dense equatorial forest hai, coastal region hai, desert hai, ya permanently snow covered hai, monsoon climate hai, to kya hai India mein? Now we stay in India, so we know ki India mein kya hai. To we know that India has monsoon type of climate, right? So, aise aapko match karna hai. Abhi Antarctica dekho. Antarctica mein desert hai? No, not at all. Monsoon type of climate hai? No, not at all. Then coastal region hai? Nahi. Equatorial forest hai? Nahi. So we all know that Antarctica is a polar area, it's, it, it is at the pole. So it is permanently covered by snow. So Antarctica ka column B mein se kya match aega? Permanently covered by snow. So this is how you need to give the logic. Pehle aap A ko match karoge B se and then A aur B ko match karoge aap C se. Thik hai? Abhi let us quickly and uh, fata fat se we'll start with the first question without wasting any of the time okay so the first one is i'll give different different colors for the correct answers okay means you'll get an idea jab main start karungi then you'll get an idea uh, to sabse pehle hai australia theek hai abhi australia mein desert area hai theek hai so option b mein se desert is the right choice for australia aur australia is a very large continent लेकिन वहां का जो पॉपुलेशन है वो बहुत ही कम है ठीक है सो द आंसर इज स्पास पॉपुलेशन ठीक है क्या है आंसर इसका स्पास पॉपुलेशन सो दिस इज अबाउट दी ऑस्ट्रेलिया नेक्स्ट है एमेजॉन बेसिन ठीक है अभी एमेजॉन बेसिन इज नथिंग बट इट इज अ इक्वेटोरियल फॉरेस्ट एमेजोन बेसिन में एमेजोन बेसिन और कॉन्गो बेसिन दोनों भी इक्वेटर के वहां पे आते हैं सो इट हैज अ डेंस इक्वेटोरियल फॉरेस्ट एंड ओवर देर यू कैन सी लो डेंसिटी ऑफ पॉपुलेशन सबसे कम पॉपुलेशन आपको यहाँ पे नजर आएगा ठीक है नेक्स्ट इज ईस्ट अमेरिका नाउ ईस्ट अमेरिका हैज दी कोस्टल रीजन ठीक है सो ईस्ट अमेरिका हैज दी कोस्टल रीजन एंड जस्ट सिलेक्ट दिस एंड इरेज इट सो ईस्ट अमेरिका हैज द कोस्टल रीजन एंड बेसिकली बिकॉज एज इट इज अ कोस्टल रीजन इट इज हाईली पॉपुलेटेड एरिया ठीक है सो यूल राइट यर कि वो हाई पॉपुलेटेड एरिया है नेक्स्ट है इंडिया सो so, इंडिया को क्या मैच करेगा वो आपको देखना है ठीक है सो इंडिया हैज द मॉनसून टाइप ऑफ क्लाइमेट एंड इंडिया इज द सेकेंड हाइएस्ट पॉपुलेशन ठीक है और लास्ट में व्हाट इज द रिमेनिंग पार्ट विच यू कैन सी योर 
so the remaining part is nothing else but it is antarctica so antarctica is permanently covered by snow and no residential population is seen in antarctica मतलब वहां पे आपको घर या ह्यूमन सेटलमेंट्स नजर नहीं आएंगे ठीक है सो दिस इज अबाउट द फर्स्ट कंप्लीट द फॉलोइंग चेन लेट अस मूव फर्दर विद द सेकंड कंप्लीट द फॉलोइंग चेन अभी सेकंड में क्या है एक्सपेंसिव एज पिरामिड कंस्ट्रक्टिव एज पिरामिड स्टेशनरी एज पिरामिड हाई वर्किंग पॉपुलेशन एंड माइग्रेशन ड्यू टू ड्रॉड अभी डेमोग्राफिक ट्रांजिशन थ्योरी को आपको ठीक से पढ़ना है ठीक है एज वेल एज पॉपुलेशन पिरामिड को भी आपको ठीक से पढ़ना है मेनी टाइम्स क्वेश्चंस आते हैं और इस बार भी आएंगे सो दीज आर दी टू टॉपिक्स विच यू नीड टू स्टडी वेरी वेरी प्रॉपरली ठीक है अभी हमें पता है पॉपुलेशन पिरामिड के थ्री टाइप्स है एक्सपेंसिव कंस्ट्रक्टिव एंड स्टेशनरी ठीक है सबके बारे में आपको पता होना चाहिए नाउ We'll start with expansive age pyramid. So, how is the expansive age pyramid? It has low number of old people. ठीक है? Low number of old people होता है इसमें. And basically, जो भी country economically backward है, वो expansive age pyramid में आती है. ठीक है? Next, we have constructive age pyramid. ठीक है? Constructive age pyramid has High number of old people. ठीक है? It is having high number of old people and basically high medical expenses you can see. जैसे कि अगर old people ज्यादा है, definitely you will require more medicines for them. So there is high medical expenses. Next is stationary age pyramid. So stationary age pyramid has low birth and low death rate okay so basically the developed countries come under the stationary age pyramid next we have high working population so basically high working population it is going to give human capital definitely it is going to give human capital and you can see it is going to increase your demographic dividend of that country, right? And finally, what is left? Finally, it is left that migration due to drought. So, agar migration due to drought hai, so it is problem of subsistence and unwillingness type of migration. We call it as unwillingness type of migration. So, this is all about the complete the following chain number second. Let us move ahead with complete the following chain, chain number third. So in this we have again three criteria like A, B and C. Okay. So class 3 city, class 4 outgrowth of city, metropolitan city. Now basically we know that metropolitan city are very much developed cities. Okay. The uh, the size of the city is very very high and the development is also very high okay so out of all these cities like mumbai mathiran vai suburb of mumbai and very small cities the metropolitan city is none other than mumbai so you just have to match the metropolitan city now outgrowth of city whenever we say outgrowth so the area which is surrounding the city, outside area, so that is the outgrowth of city. So basically, you say, kya bulayenge? Suburb. Suburb. We call it always as suburb. Okay. So uh, this is the suburb, and it is also called as fringe of metro cities. Okay. उसे हम क्या बुलाते हैं? Fringe of metro cities. Next we have the basically now in the first part we can see that we have class 3. So class 3 is a city which has a population which is between 20,000 to 50,000. ठीक है? 
so y is a city which has the population near about 36000 so y comes under class 3 next is class 5 now class 5 is also a city which has a population which is below 20000 okay so near about you can say classification 5000 uh, population ka classification you can call it as class 4 and it is a very small city class 4 cities are called as very small city okay abhi metropolitan city is mumbai city and metropolitan city has millions of population okay the population in this is near about million so it is a million city and finally we are left out with a only single option so cities are cities are classification of settlements according to occupation and uh, we are left with none other option in the case of city okay so there is uh, what do we call we have left with this option now in the case of Matheran in the case of Matheran uh, Matheran has a population which is near about 5000 Kiaspas. So Matheran can match the class 4. It can match the class 4. So there is a confusion. There is a confusion in this question. The question is not clear actually. Okay. So we can, uh, we can say that uh, class 4 has the population 5000 where Matheran I'll just remove this color. Yeah. So, even Matheran belongs to this criteria. Class 4 cities criteria. Okay. So, there is a bit confusion in this question regarding because the options are not very clear. Uh, very small city. Okay. Million city. So, these options are not much clear. So, because of that, there is a confusion regarding it. If you have any other suggestion for this question's answer, you can comment me in the comment section. I don't have any issue. You, I, I always welcome the corrections. Uh, but uh, what I have, uh, uh, what I feel in this particular question, there is some confusion from my end. Okay. So if you have any suggestions, you can freely give the comment in the comment section. We'll move ahead with the next complete the following chain. Now this is totally based on the primary economic activity chapter so it is very very clear that we have intensive subsistence agriculture we have pampas grassland region fishing gathering mining okay so let us quickly quickly start with it so what is the first option intensive subsistence agriculture okay now basically intensive subsistence agriculture may uh, most probably the cultivation of rice is done in tremendous amount. Okay. And ye jo hai, ye small size farm hota hai. Ex extensive jo agriculture hota hai, to usme wheat ya fir cereal crops jyada hote and it is very large size of farm. Okay. Next is Pampas grassland region. So basically, if grassland comes, definitely it is used for commercial animal husbandry and it is found where? It is found in South America. Next, let us move ahead with fishing. So fishing is prominently carried out in the Dogger Bank, okay, which belongs to Northeast Atlantic Ocean. After that, we have gathering. So, gathering is nothing but which is done from the forest. Okay. And it is basically unfavorable. Next and the last option which is left with us is mining. So, mining nowadays is done in offshore oil and gas productions. And it is also done in Bombay High. Okay. It is also done in Bombay High. So, this is what is the answer for mine. Okay. So, this is all about the four complete the following chain which, which I have uh, solved in this video. I hope it is clear to all of you. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe my channel. If you have any queries, you can comment me in the comment section.
Thank you.